Um, but my pop culture moment of the week is I watched a video um, by D'Angelo Wallace, who I really oh, like. Love the man. Love, love the man. him. He's incredible. He was so instrumental in the whole Shane, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, Tati West. Incredible reporting. Incredible so investigative journalism. Incredible. So good. He deserves all the praise he gets. Oh, that my man. God. Yeah. Oh, he deserves every him. accolade. Um, How old is D'Angelo Wallace? He's, pr- he's like 21. Okay. I was just like, kind of, is he, I don't know. I think he's quite attractive. He's a very attractive man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yep, thoughts on yep. that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Moving um, on. But he did a video about saying, because he did a video about Lana Del Rey, and we talked about Lana Del Rey on the yeah. podcast, like, months ago, when the whole... She's just not the best person. No. Um, and she's released a new album which I haven't actually listened to yet and I used to be Alana Stan and I feel like my time she's is lost me growth? is this growth is, is this growth who is she saying goodbye to think oh, about God, well I think girl. before you start I think it's difficult because so many people I see in response to Lana being not a great person they're like oh I separate the art from the artist and they do it a lot and I get that with old books old music yes. but when the person is still profiting off you listening to it can you really separate them? Like, if you're no. listening to them <laughs> and they're getting money from it, and that doesn't still seem making... too separated, you know? No, no there's no separate because they're still alive and they're still making bad decisions. So you can be like, if you then listen to their stuff once it's cut, once yeah. they do terrible things, you're like, oh, well, I'm supporting this person who has these terrible views. Like, she's said some choice things about the um, mm-hmm. about Donald Trump that he didn't incite the riot. Uh, and she was like, sure? I think he had good intentions and he was just a bit confused. Which, oh you know, God. Lana, if you don't know what you're talking about, don't talk about it. Like, just oh. don't, just don't focus on it. <laughs> so she basically said that. And then for, like, I don't know if it's the cover. for, And also the other thing, Chemtrails Over the Country Club is the name of her album. Chemtrails links to a conspiracy theory that the government are, like, in the American government are poisoning people through, like, fertiliser, um sprayed like they're like oh what yeah. is um plane tray like it's the it's oh the God. it's the vapor that comes off the plane um and people use them for like it's like water that's how if yeah. you've got a giant field then you spray water and like fertilizer and stuff i just so think anyway, there's, so there's it's much weird. easier it's... ways to do like like to control a nation i think there is an easier <laughs> way to get it into their like bloodstream whatever yes. they're saying than like fertilizer <laughs> go off i so, guess yeah, I don't know. She just she's doing very a lot of like bad things in quick succession. <laughs> yeah, and it makes it even. I don't think she can be excused anymore. I feel no. like she really. And so she said those things about Trump having good intentions or something with yeah. <laughs> he didn't incite the riot when he did, and he's yeah. being impeached over it by the <laughs> American court. Like if they didn't think it would happen then they wouldn't have impeached him Do but he not, did <laughs> like she's just kind of stupid at this point because even if you saw oh, that maybe not the best time to bring it up you would think what, what's happening with her publicity team i don't think she has one I they must have just left they must have just left <laughs> they must have because or she was like it's written in a contract that she's allowed to say whatever she wants <laughs> on instagram because the other thing is on the album cover it's like she's surrounded by women everyone's smiling everyone is like looks like they're having a nice time and it's all kind of like 1950s-esque vibe yeah, which is her vibe nice. and she was like look at all these women that i'm surrounded by and yes they are my best friends they are my they are women of color and they're all like there's no black woman on there at all <laughs> so whatever point she's trying and then she's like um i've dated rappers my best friends are rappers mm. and it's like you've literally reformulated my best friend is black like literally that was my thought in that like she is just being stupid at this point because is she that you'd think in most people's head they'd be like oh this seems a bit similar to just being like my best friend's black or i'm not racist racist. men are like i have daughters i'm not sexist those sort of arguments which everyone's consistently like tis a bad argument because you shouldn't need that to care about racism. Yes. You know? And, just and it admit, doesn't prove you're not, you're not racist, obviously. That's not being anti-racist, saying, no. oh, yeah, I've got friends who are black. Like, no. Mm. It's not how it works. So, yeah, so, like, I, I mean, it's old news, kind of, but, like, I have only just found out about it. So I was like, oh, Lana, you are terrible. Yeah. I will not be listening to you from now on. And that's really sad, because it was yeah. like, 
I listened to a lot of her growing up, even like now. It, as in, when she released the latest album, yeah, not this which one, was, but like, it's really good. I really I liked it. Yeah, I liked it, and I don't usually like her stuff, but I really like that album. Well, it's not that I don't usually like her stuff; I just didn't really listen to it. Whereas yeah. this one, oh, it was good. I haven't listened to the new one. Um, it's just hard, though. I think when well, hard's maybe not the right word, but when you're like a big fan of someone, mm. and then it turns out they're not a good person, they're or their li- shit, uh, views yeah. don't align with your views. It's like, oh, well, I really respected that person. I know it, se- <laughs> it seems silly to a lot of people because it's like, oh, you're just a fan of theirs. But if yeah. you have a lot of respect for them as like an artist, yeah, I think about it. It was like my sad song was. Yeah. Um, Hope is a dangerous thing for a woman like me to have. And I was like, that was my go-to sad song. I would cry for hours listening to that song because I was like, this is it. My life is complete. And she's she's taken that from me and I'll never forgive her. Disgusting. Even though she <laughs> wrote the song. <laughs> it's her song. She gave it to me and then she took it away. <laughs> she's taken it away. So, Army Hammer's ex-wife commented on an Instagram, oh, which was incredible. I didn't see this. Okay, so it was revealed, I think, earlier this week that... Um, Army Hammer's co-star for Call Me By Your Name, Timothy Chalamet, and you're going to have to help me with the name, Luca Guarda... Guarda Gina Nino? Is that him? Guarda... <laughs> Guarda... Guarda... Guarda Nino. I'm so sorry, Luca. Well, I'm not that sorry, because you might be an iffy man. But the guy who directed Call Me yeah. By Your Name, um, they're teaming up again. <laughs> To oh do a cannibal God. love story movie. No, 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 no. And this is the like, this is the description of the f- movie. It follows M- Marin Yearly as she searches for the father she's never met in an attempt to understand why she has the urge to kill and eat the people that love her. What? So just Jared, the Instagram page, posted this, and Elizabeth Chambers, who is Army Hammer's ex-wife now, they always say estranged ex-wife, so I assume things aren't going well, just <laughs> commented, no words. No full stop, words full stop. Because I kind of, I feel like you would be hurt by this, and like mm-hmm. they can't help that they're doing the film, but you've just found out your ex-husband, who you have his children, is maybe a terrible person, massive cannibal, like... Not great. And then they're doing a film about this girl who is a cannibal basically because of her father. You'd be like, do you think my children will be cannibals? That was do you mine. think it's like, it's it's a spoof? Do you think it's real? Yeah, it's real. Oh my god, my first instinct <laughs> is like it's not book. real. It's based on a book. And I don't making... think cannibalism is hereditary though. No, it's obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know. We'll look into it, but no. I it's think it's more thing. like cultural rather than yeah. because you don't. You're not born a baby and like, what do you want? You want? I want to eat human. I want human flesh. Maybe it's unless like a you're a situation. <laughs> yeah. <Renesme. laughs> I don't know, but we'll see what comes of that. I just, I oh think this God. is kind of the first thing she's said in regards to the whole thing, and <laughs> for the women. Woman. I feel, yeah, I feel awful for her i think if that was me i'd be like are you joking yeah are you joking right it's now even, not even like different people it's not don't it's know. don't you think it's weird like how silent to be shallow's people <laughs> <laughs> he knows stuff i feel i feel like army tried to eat him i just do well do you think timmy's gonna get eaten in the film do you think that's yes <laughs> this girl wants to eat the people she loves so she probably falls in love with timothy chalamet because he is a lovable lovable man and then she eats him (laughs) (laughs) and then in the like press for it he'll probably reveal the time that he was nearly eaten and how he relates to the character because of this that's why he's got a cast (laughs) my brush with the cannibal (laughs) And then a sadder moment. Oh, uh, FK Twigs opened up about the racist abuse she got while she was sort of Robert Pattinson. And I'd seen a lot of reports of her saying this, and I didn't know she opened up about it on Louis Theroux's podcast, which is nice. I just oh. didn't. It's because he's so warm and so open. Who wouldn't? <laughs> oh, but it just broke my heart because she said, people just called me the most hurtful and ignorant and horrible names on the planet. And then she says that people would compare her appearance to a monkey and that had really oh, detrimental effects on her. Yeah, literally, like, why are people so racist? 
but it had really detrimental effects on her the way she viewed herself and she would start to look at pictures of herself and basically agree with what they were saying oh my god that is vile yeah right and then she says just oh maybe the most heartbreaking thing she's like he was their white prince charming and i think they considered he should definitely be with someone white and blonde and not me you imagine thinking that about your relationship just just, imagine having that much that many opinions weighing in on your relationship and that's what like my mum sent me something on twitter and i don't have twitter it's the only social media i don't have yeah and i think it was nicola sturgeon like being um saying something progressive about transgender rights or something right. like Lovely. you know she's we love nicola sturgeon yeah we do and i like was listening to it and i was scrolling through the comments and people are so angry and so aggressive and have an opinion but i'm like why are you having this why is this a space that people feel like they can say know. what they want why is this the platform because they for... don't they don't see what they're saying is wrong i know i don't understand I've re- it's not like i'm trying to be ignorant we, but I no but we don't it, understand but... because we've said it before is that like i don't think we understand having that level of anger or hatred to anyone like i don't think i yeah. would ever feel anger to anyone to make comments online about their appearance and I definitely don't think that I well I wouldn't bring race into it either like that's so disgusting to me I but just you don't have that hatred these, yeah, yeah yeah but to harbor it in secret and I feel like it's still that thing of like you think because you're in private and it's your you're on the internet it's not real it exists somewhere else but you wouldn't what you what you wouldn't want to think people would say that to someone on the street or like oh exactly I don't know I don't know if it's because maybe because we grew up with the internet with our thing was like our um headmaster in primary school was like right don't post anything online that you wouldn't want on a banner outside your house oh that's quite good though yeah that's a good like mess that's a good way to vet what you're saying Lana (laughs) should Lana, Lana should maybe listen to that. Lana should have listened to Phil Pierce. <laughs> Shout out <laughs> to my terrible yeah, high school teacher. Think... But like, yeah, I, th- I to to harbour that hatred, and if it's like people should everybody, if you're going to be on the internet, you should take a digital liter- literacy course yeah. where it's like, don't be horrible, and it's not just like you should. Why why do you feel like you need to air that? Why do why do you need to direct oh, no, that at somebody? It's just horrid, like that you. But that's awful that it's they affected wouldn't, that exactly. Much. They would never know the amount of effect that they had on her yeah. body image and self. Because yeah, probably trolling like, like a hundred yeah. other people. And I just oh, FK Twigs, I am very sorry for everything you've been through. Yeah, it's very shit. She and deserves I'm... a life of peace and happiness from now on because she has gone through some friggin. Everyone milk. go listen to cellophane over and over again. Just do it. We and should look me in the eye and don't and tell me it doesn't break your heart. I mean, we should have known the amount of pain she was going through for, from that song alone. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. Th- like I don't know that there's many songs that I actually feel the emotions of when I listen to. Like, I'm like I feel. Mm. I'm Probably getting goosebumps not. just yeah. thinking about it. Like, Ooh. Oh. Anyway, final thing really fast. Um, there was a police report about Rita Ora's birthday party. Oh, so I did see Go this. back to this. So apparently Rita Ora's <laughs> representatives offered the bosses at the restaurant where they had her 30th birthday party, which was illegal. Um, they offered them £5,000 to hold it there and have drinks and nibble, nibbles and break lockdown. And they told... <laughs> And they told them that only seven people would be coming. Which I feel yeah. like you'd be more open to happening because before that we had the whole rule of six, six thing. Yeah. So you'd be like, oh, okay, that's kind of rule of six. Yeah. Uh, but then 20 people turned up, including the Delavines. Let's not forget, they've not got any hate from this, but they did turn up. Uh, and they shut off security cameras so there would be no footage of it oh. happening. But then doesn't that show how stupid Rita Aurora is that <laughs> she then just posted pictures on Instagram <laughs> of it happening? She was like, oh, no, no, no cameras because I don't want anyone to catch me. Immediately gets it on Instagram. That's so stupid. stupid. Be- speaking of celebrities being stupid, I've just remembered another one. Um, <laughs> the Love Island um, influencers <laughs> who have all flown to Dubai to do their sponsorships and now have to um, 
either there's like something going on with the hospitals or they've had yeah. to stay in a different kind of quarantine because they're overwhelmed they've got all these new variants coming in from stupid people from the UK it's and you're like and all of these like I'm really sorry but it's like a business trip like I had to go because it's yeah. a business no it's not well, there was someone that went on this morning who was like um I my job is to make people feel better so I have to go to the bar or whatever it was and it was like no one feels better because of you People no. feel worse, if anything. Right now, you're seeing pictures of people in Dubai. You're not going to be like, oh, so happy for them. You're going to be like, I wish I was in Dubai. I exactly. have to stay at home in the cold and be inside <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, so they're just bad people. Like, people shouldn't have that platform, no. that mentality. No. And all that job, it shouldn't be a job. No, no, it shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs>